I'm currently in the Acting Commander uh, North role for North West Metro, which covers Division 4 and 5. Um, I'm normally uh, in as the Superintendent in Division 3, which covers uh, Caroline Springs, Melton, uh, Killer Downs and Sunshine. Uh, and out there we do have um, some, some issues with the um, youth gangs and, and, uh, and, and, and the prevalence of knife possession um, and then the use of knives, knives and edge weapons in crime. Unfortunately, when we've seen the murder incidences occur, uh, that has you know really terrible outcomes for, for a whole range of people. If you know that person uh, in a sporting sense, uh, it might be a sporting club, it might be the school, it might be another um, another local community group that they regularly come together. All of those people are, are going to be devastated by the outcome, and and the split second nature of this is 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 what um, what I find really confronting. Is you know it's um, two people, often, sometimes more, having a fight, and then in an, in an instant, um, someone's life is lost. Literally an instant, and and for no good reason. Um, there's never there's never um, the the reasoning behind these instances. It never is is as significant as the person at that time thinks it is. And so you see this this stuff happen, and and then like you say, it devastates a. Uh, a community, uh, you know, really broadly, the family, the friends, the clubs, the schools. Um, and then for, for another group of people, the people that don't know them but might have been, been present, might have been, might have arrived just before, just afterward, and, and they feel that, that sense of loss of security and feeling of safety um, as a result of these instances. And their life is never the same. You know, as much as, you know, the, this idea that uh, in a, you know, time passes and things become easier, you know, I'm just not sure it applies um, to these types of instances where, where um, you know, a child, you know, 14 or 15 years of age um, is, is killed in a, in a knife, knife crime. You know, it's, 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 like I say, it's unimaginable. The Operation, uh, Operation Alliance obviously focuses on youth gang activity. So if, if a person's involved in, in uh, youth gangs and youth gang offending, then Victoria Police will hold you to account. Um, and we'll use all of, our, all of our resources that are available to ensure that um, if we know that there's offending occurring, that you're held to account for that offending. And in regards to an Omni, uh, an Omni operation, um, we can declare an area uh, within the state of Victoria based on an intelligence assessment that there has been uh, offending in that area in recent times. We can declare an area and ensure that that's communicated to the public. And then if you are in that area at that time where we know the offending um, has occurred in the past, then police have additional search powers um, to ensure that you're not carrying a weapon um, that, that ultimately will um, protect all of the people that might be in those in those uh, in those areas. The terrible outcomes of you possessing the knife uh, uh, are so many. There's so many to list. There'd be, um, as I said, that you know you could have you could have life-altering injuries as a result of the carriage. And, and a potentially a dispute with another person who's also carrying a knife. If you utilise the knife in any way, you'll face very serious, uh, very serious criminal offending. If you're found in possession of the knife, that'll have also, um, you know, bad outcomes for you. So, uh, you know, I can't. I implore the young people who might be considering possessing a knife uh, not to. There's perverse, very perverse outcomes to people who believe that they're arming themselves for protection, uh, when in fact, when you're when you're in that in that face with a moment that may happen to us, where you where you're in some kind of disagreement with another person, um, and you believe you know that you're that you're protecting yourself by producing it, um, as I say, the the outcomes would be. You know, really terrible for for that person, and and again, and then it it encourages this terrible cycle that we're in, where 
where then they feel like they need to possess a, a knife because they think that someone else has got a knife, which might, which, which absolutely may not be the case. Um, so, you know, we really need to stop this, this cycle of, of, of that type of thinking. If you're watching this video and you think that this won't happen to you and you are carrying a knife, then that is a, a very risky thought to have. You know, our experience is that it may happen to you. And then our experience is if it does happen to you, the outcomes are truly life changing. So if you have that thought, then I implore you to change it. It, 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 it very well will happen to you if you are possessing a knife. Cut the violence.